Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through a 10 minute stretch that is great to do in the evening or even before going to bed at night. So just to get rid of all the aches and pains that you might have taken on from the day. You don't need any props and we're going to do all of the poses either seated or lying down. So really a great way to get you ready for bed and get you ready to wind things down. So sit in a comfortable position and we're just gonna do some neck rolls so you can let your head tilt to one side and draw it all the way down and circling all the way back up just a little half moon shape you can lean back slightly but there's no need to take the head all the way back and just feel in notice where you feel this the most in your body it might feel good even to hold in one specific spot breathing into it Relax your jaw so there's no clenching. And we'll come all the way back to center. Shrug your shoulders all the way up and down, squeezing your shoulder blades behind you as they roll back. And you can bring your fingertips behind you, bend your elbows and try to squeeze and touch your elbows towards one another as you puff up and lift through your chest. Take a big breath in. And come all the way back. And you can change the cross of your legs just so we're evening things out here. Hands over your knees. Just a seated cat and cow as you inhale. Puff up the chest forward. And on the exhale, round and contract as you drop your head and drop your chin towards your chest. So inhale, open, back bend. Exhale, round and draw it in. Two more here. Coming all the way back into your neutral pose, I'm just gonna turn to make it easier for you to see. Bring your feet out in front of you, feet together, knees apart, and you don't need to have them too close in towards you. Give yourself a bit of a distance so it's more like a little diamond shape. And as you inhale, you're gonna lead with a flat back, straight spine as you come down. And then once you reach that max, that edge there where you can no longer hold your straight spine, you're going to let yourself round and release down and roll all the way back up. So very fluid inhale flat back exhale round fold and come all the way back up a few more times inhale exhale inhale and exhale and now let's reverse this motion exhale round and contract dive down and then flat back inhale come all the way back up and round, dive down, flat back, lift on up, last one, exhale, inhale, and all the way back, let's lower down onto our back. Bring your right knee in towards your chest and extend your left leg straight, and you might just sway your right knee a little bit side to side. You can even roll that right ankle, flexing and pointing your toes. And we'll carry this over into a twist. So as you exhale, cross your right knee over your body to the left, and you can reach your right arm out to the side. Try to get your right shoulder as much as possible in contact with the floor, and you might even turn your head over towards your right shoulder. And come all the way back to center. Hold on to the back of your thigh. And as you inhale, you're going to straighten that leg up towards the sky. And then exhale, just bend it a little bit. Inhale, press and extend. Exhale, bend it in. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to straighten. 
and exhale to bend. Catch a hold of your right foot or your big right toe. Half happy baby. So my elbow goes to the inside of my thigh and I'm keeping my knee bent, trying to stack the ankle over the knee and try to pull down, pull your thigh and your knee down as much as you're trying to also push that knee open a little bit wider. Keep pressing your left hip down so you're not rolling over onto one side. And then keep your right leg as it is. Just bend into your left knee so your foot is flat to the floor. And we're going to cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Reclined pigeon pose. Reach through with your arms and draw that left knee in towards you. So big stretch into your glutes. And give it one last little squeeze here. And let's release and we'll switch sides. So right leg is straight. Draw your left knee in towards you. And you can just sway that knee a little bit side to side, just noticing how the hip is feeling and maybe taking a few ankle rolls with your left foot, flexing and pointing your toes. Try to relax your arms and your shoulders. And we'll move into a twist. So left knee crosses over your body towards the right. Extend your left arm out to the side. Try to keep your shoulder on the floor and maybe turn your head to look over your left arm. Come all the way back to center. Hold on to the back of your left leg. And we're gonna do that same little bend and stretch. So as you inhale, straighten the left leg, flex the foot, and exhale to bend. See if you can go a little bit further every time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. Last one here, inhale and exhale hold the bend and just uh, grab a hold either of your left foot or your big toe or even your ankle try to keep your right or your left elbow to the inside of that leg as you push your knee out to the side and also drag the thigh down to the floor push your right hip down on the mat and relax your shoulders so move your shoulders away from your ears Slow, steady breaths all the way down into your lower belly so that you feel the abdomen rise and fall. Bend your right knee so your foot is flat to the floor. Reclined pigeon pose. Cross your left ankle over the top of your thigh and you can reach through with your hands to pull that knee in towards you a little closer. Give it one last little squeeze and straighten your legs out. You're just gonna flip over onto your belly. Coming into a little sphinx pose. So point your toes back and just come up onto your forearms and think of lifting your chest up, shrugging your shoulders back. Big expansion through the front of your heart. Pushing into the pubic bone, pushing into the tops of the feet. Find a little bit more lift if you'd like. You can also lift your elbows off the mat, shrugging your shoulders back. And let's release down, coming into a wide like a child's pose. Press back, big toes together, knees as wide as you would like them to be as you reach your hips towards your heels, walking your hands forward and melting down. And if you'd like, one variation that I like here is to press your hands together, bend the elbows, and bring your thumbs towards the back of your neck. Straighten your arms, start to walk your hands back as you lift on up, 
and come to take a seat. Exactly like what you were doing at the beginning of class, lengthening up, maybe roll your shoulders up, down, and back. And we'll bring our palms together at the front of the heart, closing our practice with a big cleansing breath together, inhaling through the nose and big breath out your mouth. Bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this 10-minute evening stretch with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have a little bit more time and would like to practice some more, definitely check out my other 10-minute flows on YouTube. I have quite a few of these um, quick stretches that you can do either bright and early in the morning when you wake up or in the evening as a way to wind down and prepare for a great night's sleep. Thank you again. Namaste.